struggles and his messaging and cost overruns continue with serious problems. I want to bring in CNN's Nia Malika Henderson, along with the Republican strategist, CNN political commentator, Alice Stewart. I also want to welcome here to the Situation Room our brand new CNN commentator, Kate Bedingfield. She served as communications director in the Biden White House. Guys, thanks to all of you for joining us. Kate, what do you make of DeSantis's plan now to run this new insurgent campaign, if you will? Uh, what do you make of this uh, pivot? from the Florida governor? Well, I think that campaigns can make logistical changes. They can run leaner operations. They can scale down their spending. But I think the problem for Ron DeSantis is his positions are so far outside of the mainstream. I mean, this is an election that is going to be decided by an incredibly narrow band of essentially independent voters across the country. And what we see from Ron DeSantis over and over again, and what we saw just Friday of this week, was a doubling down, a tripling down on some of the most extreme social issues, some of the most hardcore right-wing positions that aren't appealing to that audience. So I think for, for his campaign, there may be questions about tactical changes, but unless he's overhauling an entirely different message, I don't think that he's going to be able to get traction with the mainstream voters that he needs to ultimately win a general election. And here's the other thing I would say, even if his campaign is able to do that, even, he's, even if he's able to become the nominee, he's going to be dealing with an aggrieved Donald Trump who is going to be angry, who's going to be, I mean, can we imagine a world where Donald Trump says Ron DeSantis rightfully won the nomination? I'm not sure we can imagine that world. So he's going to be up against a Democratic uh, opposition in President Biden and someone in Donald Trump uh, who I think is probably not going to let him have a clear shot at the nomination. Uh